is Neil Guernsey. I'm the Vice President and Chief Information Officer for Feld Entertainment. Feld Entertainment is the uh, leading producer of affordable live family entertainment, which includes productions such as Ringling Brothers, Barnum & Bailey, Disney on Ice, Disney Live, and Feld Motorsports. I'm in charge of all the information technology, assets, and services needed to run the business portion of the company. That includes the same services that you would find in any other company, such as financial services, product development, supply chain management, and in our case, uh, we also have added needs for like digital asset management for our video and media. The whole company is looking at everything from a, a greener perspective now. Most everything we do is now focused on minimizing our e exposure to, to bad practices. Uh, such things as web conferencing instead of travel. Our shows use LED lights quite a lot now instead of the uh, high energy consuming regular lights. Uh, our circuses travel by trains which are a lot more cost effective than, and ecologically effective than doing everything by semis. I think some of the biggest obstacles that we uh, encounter when facing green IT is the limitations of our business, the fact that we're a mobile enterprise and we have to operate in all kinds of environments, uh, some where we have resources that enable us to take advantage of I, uh, green IT practices, and others where we're very rudimentary and we have to take whatever's available. We've had occasions where we've been able to overcome it with the advent of broadband wireless. Uh, we've been able to really uh, take advantage of that and reduce our footprint in terms of the equipment and the power that we're consuming as we're uh, putting on the shows using the wireless technology. The key criteria we use in server selection from a data center perspective, we're looking for servers that are power friendly, if you will, don't use too much power, and also heat generation. We have a very small data center and we don't want to really increase our cooling capacity and more than we have already. So looking for those types of uh, restrictions on servers makes sense. We have made a lot of decisions to prioritize whether we sometimes run our uh, systems and services from within our own data center or look for a hosted solution, which makes sense. Money and time dictate that a uh, hosted solution is better. Uh, using software as a service is one example, and we've taken advantage of that in uh, numerous occasions. We used to be a ba very paper uh, intensive operation, especially with a lot of our publicists and communicating information out to them in terms of our promotions and so forth. And now we've gone, everything is now web-based, where we've actually moved all of the content onto the web, which saves production of uh, you know, the CDs, cutting down on plastic and mailing and paper and everything that way. The ability to offer telecommuting two days a week to, uh, to my team. And that has paid off in, in terms of employee morale as well as the, uh, the cost and energy uh, problems with, associated with commuting, especially in this area around DC. Okay, some of the biggest benefits of greening the IT department has been lowered cost. Uh, there's been an improvement in just the environment within our building. Uh, by going to virtualization and so forth, we've managed to keep the, uh, the heat production from the data center out. The people around it are much happier. The newer servers are much more quiet. Uh, so uh, just been a better environment for the employees to work in. I think it's important for all companies to, to, to look at uh, eco-conscious decisions because all of the choices that we have to make are not just eco-conscious, but at the same time they're cost-conscious.